pants because I don't want to just cut my head off, you know? What up? <laughs> I'm going to link a video below. We're going to do jeans first, I've decided. So these are my jeans, <laughs> plus this pair. Oh yeah, so starting with this pair, this isn't a flattering way to go about it. Starting with these pants, I do like these pants. They are from Everlane. They don't look like the best possibly that they could right now because this is like the second time wearing them since they were washed. So maybe third. I only wash when it's necessary. This is weird because you can't like, I'm gonna link a video in the description of this girl that gives like tips on buying pants or like finding the right pants for you. One thing that I noted from her video that I really thought was helpful and interesting was um, this like the zipper link. When you're getting high-waisted pants, you don't want the zipper to like stop right here because then you just have all this space from here to here of just like blank jean and it really like draws the eye to your crotch area in an unflattering way. So we don't want that sis. Um, <laughs> These jeans are from Everlane. I have three pairs of jeans from Everlane and I like all of them. One of them I have a situation with, but we'll get to that. I wanted like a pair of jeans that was like more casual and like not straight up black, more of like a, you know, charcoal black, I guess. And then I have another pair of jeans from Everlane that was like purposefully black black you know for like more of that like formal look not like formal but like you know nicer i don't really know what else to say they're good jeans man i used to basically only buy jeans from american eagle and not that i think american eagle jeans suck now all of these are from american eagle not that i think all american eagle jeans suck now but they're definitely like not as good as i used to think they were at one point so these in my opinion are like true high-waisted i feel like this is what high-waisted is now but like a couple years ago high-waisted was lower it seems like because these pants were considered high-waisted when i bought them high-rise jigging but now i put them on and i'm like this is like you know this is mid-waist so anyways let me try these on see you later so ugh. Well, they're not that bad, and honestly, they are a little higher than they once were because I've pulled them up. You know, every time I wear them, I would pull them up, so I've kind of stretched them to be slightly higher. But as you can see, they're like just barely covering my belly button, which I would prefer them to be more like right here. These are also really tight. Like as tight as they can be with me still being like comfortable which is like used to be the only way I would wear jeans like I felt like if I wore them any bigger I would look fat which now I wear like looser jeans and I feel totally fine about them in fact I feel better about them because I wear these and I think that I'm making myself look skinnier you know because it's like I'm crunching everything in as tight as possible then I see a picture of myself and it's like you can just like see everything and it's just like unflattering and it like looks weird I don't know of course I'm always being dramatic because it's myself but you know I think you guys know what I mean and when I bought these I thought these were like so cool and like good looking so I bought two of the same exact ones both of these are going in donation yay for me I'm gonna try on this pair just for comparison I bought them a long time ago and then stopped wearing wearing them because they weren't tight enough and I thought they made me look fat because they weren't, you know, skin tight. But then a couple years ago, I was about to get rid of them and then I was like, wait, no. And then I just had them in the back of my car for a little bit, just as like an emergency pair of pants. I remember like putting these away and thinking like these were like ugly pants and like they were, you know, no good, they were useless. But now that I tried them on, they're like really not that bad. Mm. So I don't know, I might keep these like I said, as emergency pants. Yeah, sure, we'll just do that for now. All right, so these pants are truly high-waisted. These are still American Eagle, but these I still do wear um, every once in a while because they're all right. They still do seem a little bit unflattering, in my opinion, in the crotch area, but they're not bad and they're like, they're fine. You know, they're not like my favorite pair of jeans, but like, I do like to wear them and I like the, I like the holes in the knees. They're just tight. <laughs> literally right here you can like see all of like the you know all my knee you can see my knee like where it starts and stuff I don't like that and also like all these like wrinkles that come up you know I don't like that and also like right here you can see like I don't like that these are a little different than the other ones they're all supposedly jeggings American Eagle is extremely confusing with their jean titles they'll have like stretch super stretch Super, super, duper stretch. Super X stretch. The stretchy 
blah, 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 you know, it just goes on and on. So even though the other ones were called jeggings, these are like truly jeggings, you know, like they really just feel like leggings. Recently, I was thinking about, even though these aren't like my favorite things in the world, yeah, no shit, honey! I should keep them because they'd be like a good thing to like wear around the house because they are soup. They are actually like really comfortable. But since I said that, I have not worn them around the house. <laughs> Really, it was like I was like all right about the jeans that I owned. I knew that they weren't like the most flattering, but I thought it was just like me, you know, like I'm an, I'm ugly or whatever. <laughs> Not really, but like, you know, all my insecurities with the jeans, I thought they were just me and my body, not the jeans. And then I started wearing like jeans that actually flattered me well. And then I started looking at my other jeans that I had already from American Eagle and stuff and just like couldn't wear them anymore because they just looked bad. Except for those ones with the holes. Those ones are okay. <laughs> But anyways, these, I'm thinking I should just get rid of them. I mean, I have leggings. I could just wear leggings. That was all the American Eagle jeans. Now I want you to compare all the jeans that you just saw to these jeans. The best freaking jeans. These are also Everlane, but they're like the stretch kind or whatever. I don't know. I'll put like actual links if you guys want. <laughs> they are just about as tight as those other ones like in this area because they're like a thicker material I think it lets me be less like insecure um, about this area because it's not so like you know revealing you can't like see everything quite as bad these are also just like really comfortable yeah 100% keeping these okay so these are the last pair of Everlane jeans and Honestly, I'm not sure about them, you know, like I don't think they're the ugliest pants ever But I also don't think they really like make me happy or feel good about myself. So Should I try them on without socks, maybe? Um well, That just looks like a hillbilly. These are the reformation jeans that everyone complimented in the last video They're the best jeans. They're so comfortable and they're very flattering you can compare them to the last blue jeans and See if you guys can tell the difference. I personally love these a lot better. So that's all the jeans. And we're gonna move on to dress pants. So these pants are super fun. I'm gonna do the Instagram fashion video thing where they tuck their shirt into their bra because that looks good apparently. Um, I freaking love these pants. These definitely spark joy. The only thing is I struggle with finding what to wear with them. I've only worn them out in public once um, on Thanksgiving. <laughs> How fun is that? Wait, actually I've worn them twice. I wanted to find just like a nice like white blouse thing that was like either very fitted so that I could tuck it in nicely or was like a crop top. So far I haven't been able to find something that I really like that fits those categories yet. It makes me kind of sad because I would like to wear these more but yeah I just don't have the right shirt for them. These, they're just plain blue slacks. Um, I wear them for school presentations with my school presentation shirt. Like not every school presentation, but the ones where I have to like wear something business casual to. So I wear this together and I don't hate it. I don't know. I feel like I kind of like them, but I also feel like they're very unflattering. Yeah, I just don't think they're, they don't look good. Starting with this thing, which I have never worn. This is a zero somehow. I don't know how. It's the Traveler's Collection because like it doesn't wrinkle. I obviously thrifted this. I don't really know what I was thinking when I got it, like what I thought I would be able to wear this with. Um, it's, I think I have to say no. Just like, what even is it, you know? This. Kind of weird. It's a flannel that I thrifted. These are like these weird American flag in a white circle, but at a glimpse, they look like little snowmen or something. I don't think I'm gonna keep this. I just don't like the way that it looks. 
It's as simple as that. This shirt is the coolest shirt around. I wish I had the same thing in like a, my size though, so I could actually wear it like as a shirt shirt. But because it's so loose, I don't really like it like a shirt shirt. Only as like a, you know, open shirt over another shirt. But also I think it looks better with different shirts, not necessarily this sweater. It's got cool, pretty colors. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this shirt. This shirt, I wasn't supposed to keep. It was actually bought final sale. Didn't mean to buy this. Yeah, so it has these really stupid ugly <laughs> things right here. I like everything but those. And it lost like three buttons, so. Like what even, who designed this? So maybe if I just like cut all these off, cause they're stupid buttons anyways. And maybe I can like cut this off, then maybe it'll be cool. Cause I like the pattern of it and like, I think it could look Kinda cool. No. You know, I did want to take more risks with my fashion. Ezra Miller um, inspired me to do so. Just kidding. So this shirt is so cool. It's huge though. I just really like the fabric. I think it's really cool. But I don't know if this is necessarily the outfit that I would wear it with. It's just so big. I mean, look at that. What? You can't even see how long it is. And it's just a cool fabric. I don't know necessarily if I'm ever gonna wear it though. It's just like fun. I think it's just too big and I'm just gonna have to accept that. I don't think I could pull it off. And this one, which I'm not even gonna try on because I'm sure I've worn this in like a million shirt, in a million videos, in a million pictures. This is just like a simple cardigan. It's got like a little pattern on it, kind of. I wear this pretty regularly. It's just a nice, Simple cardigan. And I could wear this over almost everything that I own. My Sugar Pine 7 hoodie. I do like this. I would just like to have another hoodie. That's like something that's in my like to buy list. Another tip that I have, I guess. What I do, I'm not that good at it, okay? I'm trying to get better at doing this, but this is what I'm trying to do. Whenever I like wear something or I decide not to wear something or I'm looking through my closet, whatever. Whenever I have an idea of like something that I want or something that I would like to improve about a clothing item, I like write that down so that the next time I go clothes shopping, I know like I have things to stick by, you know? So it keeps you from just like mindlessly buying things that you think are cute, you know? Instead, you have more of a guideline to shop more responsibly and like effectively. <laughs> example I don't necessarily need a hoodie right now like I'm not gonna like go out and buy one like immediately and there's not like a specific one that I need right now I guess so I'm kind of just like holding off until I'm already clothing shopping or I already found one that I want or whatever but like I've noticed that I constantly reach for this because I just like love wearing hoodies like around the house or like just to, the, to a friend's house or whatever, but I don't always want to wear this because first of all, yellow isn't really my favorite color to wear and it doesn't match everything. And also when you wear something so much, it's kind of good to get another one, you know, cause this isn't always clean. I don't know, I've noticed that like in my videos because you know, in my what I eat in a week videos, most of the time that I'm filming myself a lot, is when I'm at home and when I'm at home is where I, when I wear like hoodies and stuff and so through a, what I, some of my what I eat in a week videos I'm wearing this in like half of the clips <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing next we have this little thingy which it's kind of a good thing to have I guess in your closet for making things look more formal I've worn this once since I got it, but that's not really because I don't like it. It's kind of just because I haven't had a lot of like event type things to where this like is fitting. Um, it also looks good over like a dress or whatever. I have three coat things that are kind of like, you know, windbreaker slash raincoat slash waterproof type jackets. So I have this one, which I just got from like Goodwill. It's Target brand though. And it was in the men's section. So I like to wear this when it's raining because it's act, it just, it's very functional. It's very warm and it can zip up. So then that's like extra warm. And also it has a good hood and it's
it's also like very waterproof, you know, like nothing's getting in there. However, I kind of wish that it was like more of a neutral color, not this bright blue, because that doesn't match everything, you know? And also it's very warm. Like that's a good thing when it's cold, but you know, sometimes it's like raining, but it's not necessarily cold. It's just like raining and like cool outside. Anyways, so then we have this coat, which I really like other than the fact that it doesn't have a hood, but I just like the style of it, even though it's huge. <laughs> So this coat, I've gotten so many compliments on it. I haven't worn it as much lately because I have that blue coat and also it like never rains here. <laughs> this I do like, but I kind of wish it wasn't so long. If you can't see, it's, you know, it's long. But everything else about it, I really like. It was only $4 at the thrifty story. It's also like a good coat in like the snow because it's so heavy duty and it adds another layer onto your butt. I have not worn it in a while, but when I have worn it, it has come in handy, you know? So I'm gonna keep it. As you can see, I love my outerwear. <laughs> I have always found it easier to acquire and to like outerwear than I have like actual shirts love to wear it just like around the house and also like during christmas time you know it's just like a fun sweater it's not necessarily christmas colors but it just like feels christmasy you know and it's like super warm and comfortable it's like a blankie so yeah i'm definitely keeping this i really like this sweater but it's super huge so far in the winter i've worn this once because i like it with this outfit I think this is a maybe pile one though. I've worn this a few times already and I do really like this. This uh, is huge, but I just rolled it up a few times on the sleeves and it stays. And then I safety pinned the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it's much longer than it looks. And I've even washed it with it safety pinned like that, forgetting about it and it didn't come out. This sweater, there's no debate. I'm like never getting rid of this. This was my dad's dad's and it's like the coolest sweater ever and also it's like sentimental value. It's really cool when you can find clothes from like a loved one who's passed away that you'll actually wear. I mean, I know a lot of people like want to hold on to certain clothing because of the sentimental value and that can be kind of problematic when you're just holding on to things just because you don't want to, you know, be sad about letting them go but you're not actually doing anything with them. They're just like in a box in the closet, you know? But this, it's like so cool to find something that you actually like will wear that also has sentimental value, you know? But then keeping this makes makes me, you know, double think those other cardigans. Like, do I need three different cardigans? No, but is it fun to have three different cardigans? Yes. Blazer. This is the only blazer that I have. It's a little big, but I just roll the sleeves up a little bit to make it look more not like I borrowed my mom's blazer. It's not my mom's blazer, but anyways, so it's really cool and I like it. I haven't worn it yet, but I think it's probably just good to own a blazer. The thing is like, it would be nice to have pants that matched this or matched one of these colors in here, but I don't have those. And I don't really want to buy more slacks because <laughs> the slacks that I have, they are like dark blue, but they're more of an indigo than this is. We have reached a dilemma citizens now we get to this thing which i've gone back and forth on a lot because i do like it and i like the color it's just that it looks kind of silly because it's so big so yeah we're getting rid of it so if you want a men's medium pink bomber jacket that says oasis on it this will be someday up on the z -pop. this is my only denim jacket right now and while i do like it i think i would like to get a denim jacket that's smaller when i bought it i thought i wanted like an oversized denim jacket but since then every time i put it on i'm kind of like man i kind of wish this like fit better i don't know but i do love having a denim jacket i think that's like a good thing to have in your closet just because like it goes with like everything um another one that i really like is this purple jacket, I love this. And it's literally the softest and most comfortable thing ever. It's got zip up pockets, hell yeah. It's nice when it's really cold. You know, if you zip it all the way up, it's like a turtleneck. But I just kind of wish that the collar like stayed down a little more because it always tends to like go up and then it kind of looks like silly, you know, like a little Dracula thing, but 
whatever. I just love it. It's so cool. This thing I have never worn out of the house and I've owned it for several years and I've just kind of held on to it because I keep saying that like I'll find a use for it but then I never do. It's really weird because it's like a hoodie but it has holes in it. It's obviously not gonna like warm you up that much. So then like what time of year do you wear this you know? So this is also no. Yay. Happy times. This is what I'm <laughs> saying no to. So we have five pairs of pants and then we have, or bottoms, five outerwear type things. 10 things total. I guess that's pretty good, I don't know. It's something. And then we have seven maybes. At least the maybes are less than the nose, I guess. And then over here, oh, that's a mess. That's embarrassing. Then over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeses. These are all the yeses. It, this actually looks very reasonable to me right now. Also, okay, to the people who left comments like, um, if you have a doubt about it, you should just get rid of it. Or like, if you say, I like this, but you should just get rid of it. I don't think you understand what it's like to be an indecisive person. I mean, I'm not the most indecisive person. I'm not like cheaty, okay? But I have doubts about literally everything I own. Like even like my favorite articles of clothing, I still have like things I don't like about them. Because first of all, I'm picky. And second of all, I'm insecure. So is everybody, but like, you know. I'm just like very critical of things, I think in general, but also about clothes particularly because I don't know. I think it, it probably stems, it, I don't know why I just did that. I'm not like mad at those people. Cause like that might work for you and that might work for a lot of other people. But I'm just saying it doesn't work for me, okay? So yeah, hope you, enjo hope you enjoyed this. Maybe later tonight I'll film me going through the other things. But um, this is what happened so far. Um, I had fun. So catch you later. Bye. Thank you.